In this video, we'll see an example of a mixture problem involving linear equations. So here's the problem. A coffee manufacturer wants to market a new blend of coffee that sells for $3.90 per pound by mixing two coffees that sell for $2.75 and $5 per pound, respectively. What amounts of each coffee should be blended to obtain the, the desired mixture? So here the fundamental concept that we need to understand is that the total cost of a product is equal to the unit price times the amount. And this is important because we don't exactly know yet how much of the 275 coffee we're going to use and how much of the $5 coffee we're going to use. I'm going to call those coffee A and coffee B just to make them a little easier to talk about. So the price of the coffee A, the cost of using some amount of coffee A, is going to be the unit price, which is $2.75, times that unknown amount, which I'll call X. So that's how much the coffee A portion of our blend is going to cost. How much is the coffee B portion going to cost? Well, it's going to be $5 times the amount of coffee B we use. But we know that in total we're going to have one pound of coffee. So if we have x pounds of coffee A, we're going to have 1 minus x pounds of coffee B. So that all together, between these two types of coffee and our blend, we'll have 1 pound that will hopefully cost $3.90. So our cost for the coffee A portion is 2.75x, and our cost for the coffee B portion is 5 minus 5x. But the total of these two numbers should equal $3.90. So our equation looks like 3.90 equals, and when I add these together, I get 5 minus, and what do I get when I add these two uh, coefficients of x together? 2.75 minus 5, that works out to be negative 2.25x. So now I have an equation to solve. Let's subtract 5 from both sides, and when we do that, we still have negative 2.25x on the right-hand side. The 5 and the minus 5 cancel out, and 3.90 minus 5 is negative 1.10. Let's continue this up here. So now I want to divide both sides by uh, negative 2.25 to get the x by itself. So let me just rewrite my equation here. So divide both sides by that negative 2.25. On the right-hand side, the negative 2.25s divide out, so I just get x by itself. And on my calculator, I compute negative 1.1 divided by negative 2.25, and that works out to be 0 0.48888. So that means that our blend should have about 48.9% of coffee A. And then the remaining, if I subtract that number from 1, I get 51.1% of coffee B. And that's how my blend should be constructed.